Hey guys, welcome back to Media Jacks. Before we get started today, I just want to take a second to you know, tell you guys to, to not forget to subscribe to this channel so that you guys can stay aware and you know updated with the latest stuff that we're rolling out across the channel on YouTube. So yeah, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on that bell icon so that you guys get the latest notifications on these videos. Um, so today we're going to talk about um, a very simple thing, but you know something that people find a little difficult to do: uh, setting up a proper membership system on their WordPress instance using WooCommerce. Um, we're also going to cover about a, a a certain payment method, a payment gateway actually called CC Bill. Um, CC Bill is one of those high-risk payment gateways that you know people have a little hard time uh, you know integrating into their WordPress system. So. We're going to combine these two together and I'm going to show you how you can do this very simply and very effectively using WooCommerce. So again, I have a WordPress system. It's pretty much vanilla, but I've created a couple of pages and stuff like that. I'll just take you through the pages that I've created. I've created these cart page, checkout page, options pages, the my account page, terms and conditions and a test page because these are the stock pages that are required for setting up your WooCommerce instance. All right. I've uh, also gone ahead and installed a couple of plugins. Uh, you're going to need the same plugins as well. You're going to need this plugin called WooCommerce, of course, to get started. You're going to need a plugin called WooCommerce Memberships that you can actually get. And you'll need a plugin called WooCommerce Payment Gateway CC Bill. Uh, WooCommerce and WooCommerce Payment Gateway CC Bill are free plugins. You can just get them directly and start integrating. The WooCommerce Membership plugin comes at a price. You can look at the WooCommerce website and get it for yourself. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to activate all of these three plugins. And uh, I'm going to take... I'm going to then take you through how you can actually get started setting up these you know, different instances. So let's get started with looking at WooCommerce itself. And WooCommerce has a settings panel, which is pretty much you know, exactly what we need. So what we're going to do is now we're going to add our address line. I'm just going to call it address1. Move that to address2. I'm going to say I'm in New York. I'm going to change my current to United States. Okay, we'll just put Delaware for now. We'll move into the pin code. And I'm going to sell to all countries. I'm going to enable tax. I'm sorry, I'm going to disable taxes because this is a membership that I want to create. I'm going to sell it in United States dollars. That's my currency. And when I'm happy, I'm going to click on save. The next thing I want to talk about is products because now I want to create digital products, right? So it, it doesn't really matter if the weight and dimensions are right. I'm going to skip all this for now. Uh, I'm going to disable the review section because that's not required. I'm going to go to a sub menu and say what my display is going to be like. Uh, the shop page, I need to select one. So I'm going to select, um, well, I don't have a shop page in here right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and create a shop page. But I'll, I've created one called membership options. Uh, so basically what this means is I'm not only calling it a shop page because I'm not going to sell products. I'm going to sell membership options. So I'm going to use the membership options as a shop page. Um, it can show me display products and show me categories, etc. I'm going to I'm only going to be concerned about products. I'm going to say when redirect this guy to the checkout page so that once he selects the product, and once I'm happy, I'm going to click on save. The next thing I'm going to do is skip out inventory and skip out downloadable products because this has nothing to do with setting up my membership system on WordPress. Neither does it have anything to do with setting up memberships with WooCommerce. Uh, shipping again, I can skip this out completely. I am not going to be offering any shipping uh, options, so I'm going to just skip this out. Um, checkout has an option, so I'm going to allow you use of coupons. I'm going to disable guest checkout because I want everybody to create an account. So that's very important. Remember to enable to check off the enable checkout option because if this check guest checkout is available, uh, people will be able to buy products but they'll not have accounts. So check, make sure that's unchecked. Uh, these are the pages that we've created in WordPress. I'm going to assign them to each um, system right now. So the cart page goes to the cart page. The checkout page goes to the checkout page that I've created. The terms and conditions are the terms and conditions page that I've created. These are the hyperlinks, the permalinks that have been created by WooCommerce itself. So I'm not going to mess with those. As you can see, CC Bill has been added as a payment method because of the plugin that I've installed. Once I'm happy, I'm going to click on Save, and I'm done. Uh, Amongst all these payment methods, I can I can ask for PayPal, cash and delivery, uh, account transfers, things like that. But I'm going to be concerned about CC Bill because I promise you guys I'm going to show you how to integrate CC Bill. It's absolutely simple. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's CC Bills standard version. I'm going to give the title of the name so CC Bills so people know that they can pay with credit card or debit card and it'll go to the CC Bill website. I'm going to input my account number here which I have from CC Bill, my sub account number from CC Bill as well, the form name that I have created in CC Bill. And if you're using CC Bill's new Flex form system, you can just check this box here and you'll be good to go. You'll get a salt key from CC Bill. All you need to do is, you know, reach out to them on on their chat interface just or raise a ticket with them in support and they'll give you a salt key it's a it's an api dynamic key so that you can you know make secure transactions directly into your cc bill account once i'm happy with it i'm going to click on save changes and move on to the next setting under accounts now this is a fairly important thing you have to make sure that you have an account page created somewhere in your wordpress system and then link that here by creating by selecting my account uh, you need to enable customer registration on the checkout page and enable customer registration on the My Account page so that you know people are going to be creating accounts. You need to uh, display returning customer login reminders on the checkout page so that the people know that if they have a membership already, they don't need to purchase it again. Uh, these elements of permalinks are required, but these will become default when you install WooCommerce itself. Once you're happy, click on Save and move to the next system. Emails is again the communication that uh, you have with the WordPress system to members and your WooCommerce takes care of most of these things. You can go and customize these individually. Uh, we're not going to get into that right now because it'll take up a lot of time. You can actually send, you can select your from name and from email address and change colors and just theme it a little bit as you want. Um, the API is not something we're going to mess around with because we have nothing, but we're going to just keep the enabled REST API activated so that CC Build knows what we're trying to do. There are web hooks you can play with, there are keys and apps you can play with as well if you're a little much into the advanced uh, development cycle. Um, the last option I'm going to talk about is memberships. Uh, this is an important aspect of what we need to do. So what I'm going to do right now is I am going to make sure that I'm going to hide all content so that whatever premium pages I've created are not available to people who are not premium members. So once I've done that, I'm going to, I'm going to select I have an option to hide completely or hide just you know part of the content or, or redirect another page. I don't want to redirect because I just want to hide the content completely. So that's well done. Um, I can customize the messages I want to show people who are not members and things like that. And once I'm happy, I'm going to click on save and then move to the sub menu of products. The sub menu of products is not necessarily necessary to be you know edited from here. You can skip this part out if you want because we'll be handling it on a case by case basis in this tutorial. Um, if you want purchases, if you want you know members to get special discounts and other products and things like that, that's if you set up actual physical products, then you, can, you are free to do so as well. But for the case of this tutorial, we will not be doing that. So now we have set up our entire WooCommerce settings panel. We have nothing else to set up in settings. What we do need to do is go and create a membership plan. So under WooCommerce, you'll see memberships as an option. You will see. There are members, membership plans, and import export. Of course, you know what import export does. Members is where you'll have your list of, e of members that have been signed up with you. But we are concerned about membership plans. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and created a gold member. I'll just show you what that looks like. The gold membership plan basically means that I'm going to charge people for 30 days a certain amount of money. So I can restrict content, pages and posts and stuff like that. I can restrict products that you want to build, I can purchase discounts, and I can see a member's area. So that's pretty straightforward, pretty you know, in, in depth with what we want to do. So unlimited membership for 30 days or specify a length, that's what you can do. And once you're happy, you click on update. Once you're done with this, we need to now create the product that we want to sell. So we're going to go into products, which is exactly under the WooCommerce system. And create a product. Now this product is going to be called Gold Membership. Now don't get don't get confused between WooCommerce memberships and WooCommerce products. The product is a membership. Membership is a product of the WooCommerce system that you're going to be building on WordPress. So you need to do both these steps. Once you've created a membership plan, you now need to create a product that is assigned to that membership. So I'm going to go to Gold Membership, which I've already created. I'm going to show you what I've done. You can go and create your new your own product. I'm going to edit this product and show you what I've done. You can you know write a little description about it you can give it some some basic information but what i'm going to actually be worried about is saying that this is a virtual product and this costs nine dollars that's all i'm going to consider i don't care about inventory because i'm not having inventory i don't have link products i don't have any special attributes and i really don't care about the advanced settings in this 
right? You can give a short description and stuff like that, but that's all part of the entire WordPress ecosystem. Now the next step that once, because I've created my product, I know that everything is created, right? So I'm gonna look at all my pages, just to cross confirm and check that everything is ready. I have my card page, I have my checkout page, I have my membership options page, my account page, my terms and conditions, and my test page. The test page that I've created, I'm just gonna show you that. As an administrator, I can actually see the content on this page. I can say that this is a test page where this is where I place my premium content. You are seeing this because you are a goal member or an administrator. And if I take this URL and I move it into a incognito mode, you will not see that page. It basically means that I have to click here to buy goal membership. Why does that happen? Because when I set up my page, when I created this page, I went down into memberships and I said, hey, I want restrictions to be here. So as you see at the base of this page, you'll see an option that says restrict this content only for goal members, which I have created. If the person is not a goal member, he's gonna see this content. And this is absolutely, absolutely customizable. You can change it to whatever you want and you know, just say that, hey, this content is available to goal members only. So now I've set up everything here. I have nothing else to do in the back end. Everything is pretty much you know, ready to be deployed into, into a live staging environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into incognito mode. I'm going to go to my home page, and this is where I have my entire membership website ready. My posts are protected and my pages are protected. Now, to create a page, all I'm going to do is I'm going to say, click on test page. On the test page, you can see that I need to be a goal member to view this page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click here to buy goal membership, which essentially means I am being taken to a page that does not exist yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to say, I'm going to go to the test page. I'm going to edit the line at the bottom, which basically takes me to a page that does not exist. You see that shop as a page does not exist. So what page exists exactly is the membership options page, because that is the page that I'm actually using as a shop. Since it's called membership, I'm going to change that in pages on my test page. I'm going to go down and change that URL to say, hey, it's not shop, it's membership. So now I'm going to update. I'm going to go back here. And now when I refresh, I'll still see the same error saying this needs a gold membership. But when I click on gold membership, I'll be taken to a membership options page, which is basically acting as a shop page. I'll see the product that I've set up, which is gold membership for $9. I'll add it to my cart. I'll be taken to my cart. Where gold membership that costs $9 is available here. I can apply a coupon code if I've created one from the back end, and I can proceed to checkout. Once I proceed to checkout, I'll be I'll be here, I'll be asked if I have a coupon code again, I'll be asked if I'm a customer just to reconfirm that I already have an account. If not, I can set my billing details, I can set my company name, my, my country address and everything. Everything is required from a, from a member's perspective to create an account. At the end, he'll be asked to create a username and asked to create a password. And once that is done, on the right hand side, he can offer, me, offer to pay me via check or via CC bill. So just for the sake of testing this out, I'm gonna show you well, this is John Doe, goes from Doe Company in the United States, has street address 1, sorry for the spelling, address 2, New York, Delaware, 10006, phone number 123456789, username, test, dot, test 1, password, Q W E R T Y at 123, right? Once that's done, I don't know if I'm gonna get any errors, but I've accepted these terms and conditions. If I get an error, I'll just take care of it. Uh, the email address is left. Oh, oh yeah, we are. The email address needs to be de test1 at test.com. Um, proceed to check out and I should be taken to CC Bill's page but it'll throw me an error because I haven't configured CC Bill with my private details. Let's give it a second.
okay it seems that i will not be able to do this because i require to put my cc bill details in order but i assure you that once you put your cc bill details okay so this is the page that i'm taking to once my cc bill is is found as you can see it has not found any uh, flex form it does not form anything then hence it's throwing me an error and i will not be able to do much about it so hence um it will not you know take me through the entire payment gateway process uh which actually means that this is working and cc bill does work and you, once you put in your own salt keys and your own forms and, and you know check in with your own flex forms and things like that your cc bill will integrate perfectly well into this as a membership plugin so if you have a high risk website that you want to you know get memberships for and you have only cc bill as your payment gateway on board um use membership post you know use this woocommerce membership system it's very straightforward it's very clean and it works brilliantly well again i just want to clarify that you just need three plugins the woocommerce system the woocommerce memberships plugin and the woocommerce payment gateway from cc bill um this is all you need to start your membership website of course you can start going your themes and making your own changes and stuff like that but that's up to you so if you like this video uh, give it a thumbs up and um, we'll you know keep on posting more content for you guys as it comes out uh, cheers guys and don't forget to subscribe